So Gavin, we've had a successful morning, but this is part two of Buffalo Killer. Now we've got the cow, got it back, yeah. and we've managed to stalk right up close on the herd that we shot from this morning. Yeah. Now they're literally 80 yards in front of us. The sun's still pretty high in the sky. We've got about two and a half hours of daylight left, yeah. but they seem much calmer than they were before. I think it's a good thing that we left them now for like an hour and a bit. Too. They're nice and calm. They're starting to graze again. You know, it's half past uh, three. The sun is going down. Wind is in our face. I do think we'll have a successful afternoon. Famous last words. We're still going to be patient. We're still going to take our time. We're still Absolutely, going to make we can't. I mean, there's still you know, 40, 50 buffalo head and you have to take your time, be cautious and make sure that we don't make mistakes. Okay, wise words from the master, lead on. It's part two of our epic Mozambique buffalo hunt with Nduna hunting safaris. In part one, my good friend Gavin Ingram of Nduna took his very first Cape buffalo. If you haven't already seen it, click on the link now. But our task is to deliver two buffalo and it's now my turn to step up to the plate. After extracting Gavin's buffalo, we're back on the trail and it isn't long before we're hot on the heels of the herd. The buffalo have moved across this large open area and there's little or no cover for some distance in any direction. We move as quickly as we can, staying low to the ground to get in close enough to glass the buff and find my cow. There's one very small bush that sits between us and them. So. The problem we have here is we've got onto the buff but they're nearly 300 yards in front of us and there's no cover so you have to be patient see where they feed they're feeding into the wind and see if we can get some cover we ideally need to be within 100 yards to take a shot with a 450. we wait patiently in the hope they move near a cover or that we can spot a direction from which we can stalk in but there's little or no cover available and the buffalo seem content to sit out there in the open this could be a long afternoon. However, JP has a plan. We walk slowly and in single file to another patch of cover. Then we get down low and heading closer and closer again. If the herd spots us, they'll disappear into the distance and have us chasing them all afternoon. If they turn and head this way, we could be in serious trouble. The cows and younger bulls act as sentries for the rest of the herd Getting close requires patience. We make it to a small bush within shooting distance of the herd. And although the majority seem to have found a little cover for themselves, one buffalo cow stands on the edge of the herd and in plain sight. I set up for a shot, take my aim, and fire. The shot is good and she bolts a little, but the herd doesn't move far. I load another round and keep a careful eye on my buffalo. Unbelievably, she's still standing, and as she moves clear of the herd, I deliver a final shot that takes her down. The herd closes ranks around the old cow, and we must wait for them to move on. Okay, that's two shots I'm really happy with. 151 yards, first time she came over to the left, probably about 160. Now the herd has turned once again. This is where you've got to be really, really careful. The herd move off slowly, but only a short distance before stopping and looking back. So the rifle's zero for 100 yards. So at 150, it'll drop about five inches. So in these situations, you've got to remember your aim points. Now at that distance, you've got to guesstimate it to a little bit, uh, but I did, I did range it. That's why those ice binos come in really handy. But you must remember, if you're going to fall low at 150, you've got to aim high. Now in these situations, the amount of people that miss the shots is incredible. If you aimed on then, you're taking brisket and you're running all day. Gavin keeps an eye on the herd as JP and I recount the action. Perfect, perfect, perfect for a shot. That's what you want. You don't want them to fall dead. You want to get the foam out of the nose, it's dead buffalo. You give him time, the first shot is the important thing. First shot is that, you get the blood, give him time and that's dead buffalo. Particularly with a single shot rifle. Beautiful. Single shot rifle, the first shot is always really important. 
But once again, this Regan number one has been delivering these Hornady Dangerous game rounds time and time and time again. And as you can see, I had to aim off slightly there, but exactly where I aimed, it hit it. And even at 150 yards, the thing's like a sledgehammer. As, as JP said, immediately uh, this frothy blood coming out of the nose, which means a double lung shot. So I'm gonna have to start moving in now. JP is happy and so am I. Buffalo hunting is amongst the most physically and emotionally challenging hunting adventures. Success is never guaranteed. As we move in closer, the herd remain unfazed. Being nervous, they could still turn and charge us if they get spooked. And we must be ready. That's a formidable herd of animals, huh? Eh? Yeah, isn't that beautiful, eh? That's stunning. We slowly move in closer again. The herd turn and run in the opposite direction. She's down, but we move with caution. This is the most dangerous time of the hunt. Buffalo are tough and incredibly resilient. If there's even just one breath left in her, this cow could charge and take us all with her. So she's gone. Well done, my So, what a beautiful cow. Absolutely stunning. And once again, perfect, absolutely perfect shot positioning as well. So another magnificent cow. So that's it, two in one day. Yeah. So we've actually fulfilled our challenge. As we said, um, the local village down here, Megahoon, it's their centenary celebrations and Mahimbra donating uh, to Buffalo uh, for, for the feast. Uh, so a little bit short notice, I need to be shot for tomorrow and we've delivered. Yeah. So what an, another incredible stalk. This morning was great, but this afternoon it's just breathtaking. Yeah, absolutely. You know. When they came in the open, we had to wait and be a little bit patient for yeah. them to go through the little valley. When they came through, we had to go all the way around. So we couldn't go into the open and as soon as we got there, we stalked into 150 yards. Yeah, not, not... Taking a good shot. The shot, yeah. the first shot. That first shot, made. absolutely counted. And, and, and Gavin, you know, as, you, as, we've, as we've said before, on a buffalo, straight up um, the front leg. About a third of the way up the body, so it's, it's once again it's textbook, yeah? Text, textbook, yeah. Bleeding straight out the nose, the sign was immediately there, so no, we're really happy. So, so, so let's have a look at this girl then, huh? Not quite as old as yours, is it no, kind no. of a young cow, would you say? How, how would you put this up? I would say this is about five years old, mm -hmm. six years old, you know, still, um, you know, but uh, what a lovely, lovely girl. Nice sweet meat. Yeah, you, you know what? We had to deliver the, the meat for the for the village. Yeah. Um, I must say it was a bit challenging, you know, with with uh, third constantly pressing up. I mean, they need the meat. It's it's not a thing that you're going to a, a slaughterhouse and just go buy or butcher. No. Uh, we had to deliver the meat for them. No, very happy. A magnificent animal. A great stalk. Another awesome day at Mahimba with Nduna. So we've completed our goal to harvest two buffalo cows in one day at Mahimba. The local village has an abundance of meat for the centenary celebration and Gavin has a great story for the children back home. And for me, I've experienced one of the most phenomenal hunts of my career for a magnificent big five species with good friends in a stunningly beautiful part of Africa. This is what I dreamed of as a boy. To create your African hunting adventure of a lifetime, visit andunahuntingsafaris.co.za Subscribe to Team Wild TV for more breathtaking African hunting and an incredible lineup of seven new daily shows for the new year. 2013 is going to be a very big and exciting year on Team Wild TV. We hope you'll join us.